All right, Detroit Pistons could be eyeing one more trade. Is the rumor uh, looking at the roster? It's a lot of oversaturations, a lot of useless pieces. Um, and also, a trade can be coming down the line, and I'll be talking about that later or on another day, at least sometime this weekend. So, um, so yeah, they said another trade could be coming. Obviously, the big hole for the Detroit Pistons is at power forward. Um, I still don't feel like they got a, a respectable power forward there. So the Pistons could be eyeing one more trade before the summer's out. From the perspective of fans, it may seem like the Detroit Pistons offseason has been a bit lackluster, and I'm going to address that in the live stream hopefully this weekend, trying to let free agency uh, take its course. This week, after saying he prefers hitting the home runs over single slappy singles, general manager Troy Weaver took $30 million in cash base and turned into two veteran bench players via Monty Morris and Wizard Small for Joe Harris. Two million in cash consideration, second and round pick. The fans were hoping uh, the team would go after Cam Johnson, who obviously went to Brooklyn. While he has immediately been underwhelming, the Pistons beat Rodney James. Uh, Edwards III warns fans not to let their guard down. Weaver may not be done trading yet. There are very likely to be trades over uh, a trade or two before the roster has to be finalized in the total he wrote. However, as far as signings, I don't anticipate the Pistons adding anyone of great significance. So basically he's saying that um, he's saying that there's not going to be another significant free agent signing. Uh, probably a trade. And is this going to be a trade to dump salary? You know, is this going to be a trade to, to, to add, you know, front court help? That's more a power forward. You know, because they got a lot of useless pieces. Killian, Bagley, Isaiah Stewart don't feel what they need. I mean, a lot of people feel like, well, let's get rid of Wiseman. So, uh-uh. But they don't have a power forward. They don't. And I don't know why people are going to grasp through their head that Bagley and Isaiah Stewart are not good, not power forward. Stewart can't stay in front of the modern power forward. Neither can Bagley. And they both can't shoot. On top of that, and neither one could then defend the defend the realm. So think about that for a minute. Neither one of them could defend the realm. Neither one of them could defend the realm. So I got I got continue to I continue to say, bro. Um, I think I don't really think people really understand. I don't think people really understand how this how this really go. I don't. I don't think people really understand how how this how this how this box how how this. That how, how what the Pistons need. They need somebody modern at the uh, at that four spot, and it don't have to be the biggest name. You know, it don't have to be the biggest name. You know, it just gotta. It just gotta be the right, it gotta be the right fit. Somebody who can stretch the floor, somebody who can defend. You know. You know. Come on. Come on. That's what you're looking for. That's exactly what you're looking for. So, um, 
But yeah, they like I said, they did Tobias Harris type. You know, Grant Williams end up getting traded. I was gonna do a video on Grant Williams. Um yeah, I was gonna do a video on Grant Williams, but he ended up getting I, well, I had the video done, but he ended up getting traded. <laughs> he ended up getting traded. <laughs> Crazy as hell, he ended up getting traded. So um you know, so at the end of the day, they gotta understand that they too much of defensive liabilities and then when you're a defensive liability, and then they offensive liability. Only thing that Bagley and uh, only thing Bagley and uh, and Isaiah do is rebound. It just give you Andre Drummond vibes. That's the only thing they can do, and that's not enough. That's not enough. And I'm gonna keep saying that. That's not enough. It's not. It's simply not enough. So yes, they need another trade to 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 dump off some of this useless talent like Killian Hayes, Bagley, and Isaiah Stewart. Okay. And then, and then on top of that, they got to be able to. Uh, They have to be able to uh they have to be able to be able to find some power forwards that can slide into that position and handle their business at that position. They have to. They have to. And that's a problem. They don't have a mark. And, you know, people say, well, boy, I'm a bitch. He can't stop nobody. And then there, there's, there, there, there's a rebounding issue with Boyana bitch. There's a rebounding issue with Boyana bitch. So, I'm going to say what you want to say. You know, but they need an understanding about what they need. That's the problem. They need an understanding about what they need. They need to unload guys that don't have a future. All these these guys they picked up, rewatched, or they drafted that's washed out, and then they need to add guys that can complement what they need. Then next year you see where you at. Then, you, then what you do next year is then you go out there and put, take your money and find you a star. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, push your chance for notifications. We go live or drop the video. Financially, want to support the channel, catch up, dollar sign, CJ Glue 313, Venmo CJ Glue 313, pay file link in the description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, thank you, Cash, I've been with PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Hope 9. Appreciate the love and support. Check out your trip, Chris, and talk about this from my videos like this. Peace.